Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Man, uh, have I been looking forward to doing this video. Now, I'll be perfectly honest with you, I am really going to try to not sit here and just basically absolutely gush all over this knife. Um, it's been one, it's one that I've been waiting for for quite a while, and I am so very happy to have it in my collection. And of course, we are talking about the Monterey Bay Knives, Rosa Linda. Now, it's pretty cool. This is actually named after Ray's mom. I think that's awesome. Really, really cool. And this is an absolutely fantastic, fantastic knife. Shout out. Got a new mat. The other one just kind of wore out on me. Kind of crazy, but brand new mat. Kind of a sh shout out back to the original, to the beginning of Big Red EDC, which uh, it's kind of cool. So... But anyway, let's get back to this guy. Look, look at the finish on that knife. That's a Zerblast finish. Zerblast ceramic beads. Love the look of that finish. Absolutely. Titanium handle, of course. Zerblasted titanium backspacer as well. Titanium clip. You do have a lanyard hole. So lanyard fans, there you go. Um, it is a single-sided clip. Of course, low profile, pretty decent ramp on it. Probably, what are we looking at? A third, a third of a backspacer, roughly, maybe a little more, 40%-ish. Single thumb stud, very, very low profile front flipper, which is really... If you're going to do a front flipper, that's the way to do it. And we'll see in just a minute how easily, easily this thing flips. But you've got contour in your nice scales there. Yeah, a little bit of contour going on. Screws are not fully recessed. They are, they are, they stand a little bit proud, but not too bad. Pivot also is a little proud, as you can see. Mr. Ray Laconico right there. Single thumb stud. As you can see there, you have a cutout where the thumb stud goes into. So single sided. Obviously, there you go. The hole is covered up on the other side. So it is going to be a single sided thumb stud. That finish though, man, that is just a terrific, terrific finish. Now, like I said, um, you do have a couple of different methods of opening. You do have the thumb stud. This thing jumps out on the thumb stud and this action is ridiculous <laughs> it is just oh this thing is tuned like crazy and the front flipper of course and then of course i screw it up why wouldn't i good lord all right i'm doing it behind the camera and i can't do it good lord um well if i that's crazy i can't do it in front of the camera okay I cannot do it in front of the camera. I can do it off camera just fine. I don't know why. Because it's so... It flips so easy. It flips so easy and I can't do it in front of the camera. Let's try it. Why am I not... Am I watching myself? I don't know. It does. It flips very easily. Very easily. And the action... Yeah. Oh, man. God, that action is fantastic. Ah, okay. Uh, ZDP 189. Look at that nice, look at that nice transition right there. ZDP 189 comes down to a very, I mean, it's drop-ish, spear-ish, whatever you want to call it. I, I pretty much call it a drop point because we're not exactly equal on each side. But anyway, nice swedge across the top. Landing pad, very, very nice right there i get a little bit in front of it but not too bad look at the sharpening choil very nice sharpening choil cut in there thumb studs definitely out of the cutting path yeah yep they pretty much pretty much took care of it all and i expect nothing else 
overall what are we looking at we're looking at just over eight inches on this thing we're sh shooting at about eight and a eight and an eighth maybe eight and a quarter depending but very nice your handle you're looking at right about four and a half on the handle which is going to give you just about a three and slightly more than a half inch blade roughly cutting edge now is going to be about three and a quarter three and a three eighths if you really want to stretch it out get in front of more like three and a quarter and then your grip length point to point you're looking at a good full one two three four inches and i mean that's if you go way up now if you drop back into that normal finger groove you're going to lose not much not much and this knife is so comfortable in hand yeah big fan of raised knives been waiting on this one and it it just there's it didn't disappoint now size comparison with the pm2 slightly oh where are we at it's pretty close actually the pm2 might have it on the handle by just a hair just a hair but not much and of course if that's the case the bug out is going to be definitely a smaller knife but there you go size comparisons let's get a weight on it overall we're looking at 4.4 ounces not bad a little bit over that ounce per inch for sure but like i said i'm not sure where that came from but somebody thought it was a good idea and then of course in the pocket very smooth very nice you guys have seen me with those titanium clips very nice you can use the whole throw of the pocket clip it's not deep carry obviously not overly deep carry but it definitely slides right down in there i mean it's a good size knife a little over eight inches so you're going to have maybe slightly over half an inch sticking out of the pocket by not much. But the overall. Uh, somebody asked me on a Saturday Night Live. They asked me, like, well, I'm on the fence about the Aruba Zalindo. What do you really think? I don't tell you this often. If you're on the fence, uh, jump over it. Jump over to the Monterey Bayside and go get yourself a Rosalinda. And that's really all I'm going to say. Now they sell for $235, if I'm not mistaken. $235 is what they're going for on the MBK website. It's a great size knife. It's got an absolutely fantastic action. If I could front flip the dumb thing on... I cannot do it. There. Golly. I don't know why I can't do it in front of the camera. But anyway. It does front flip very smoothly. It it jumps out on that thumb stud. The detent feels really good to me. And the action just drops right in there. I mean, there's no shake. There's no nothing. It's just smooth. Yes, yeah, solid build. No wiggle, no wobble, no up and down, no nothing like that. I am... I can't express to you how happy I am to have this knife in my collection. Now, I did say here, oh, I don't know. Maybe it was on an SKL. Not sure. I think it was. I think it was. I love my Sea Otter. I love the Sea Otter. The minute I bought the Sea Otter, I sold my CRK. That's how much I love my Sea Otter. This knife may be eclipsing the sea otter. This is an absolutely fantastic knife. Now, I've, I love a lot of raised designs. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I just, I really like his design style. This is a fantastic knife. That's all I, I don't know how much more plain I can put it is it is a fantastic knife and i am so very happy to have it in my collection 100 percent ray you did a fantastic job 
on this one. This design, um, your your manufacturer did wonderful. It's just very, very well done. So, thank you, Ray, for another fantastic knife. Guys, thank you for swinging by and checking out the Rosalinda with me from Monterey Bay Knives. Greatly appreciate it, as always. And as always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Bye-bye.